As Toyota blames poorly fitting floor mats and sticky gas pedals for the recall of millions of vehicles, the growing tangle of wires, sensors, and computers are still being scrutinized as the root cause of unintended acceleration in some automobiles. Toyota executives tried to answer those concerns before two congressional panels and admitted they're still unsure if current recalls will fix the problem. Do you believe that the recall on the, on the carpet changes and the recall on the sticky pedal will solve the problem of sudden unintended acceleration? Not totally. Okay, what do you need to do? Well, no one's been able to counter Toyota's assertion that mechanical fixes will remedy acceleration issues, electronics have become increasingly complex, and that is an area for concern. The vehicles today are equipped with anywhere from, I would say, 5 to 20 or more computers. They all generally communicate with each other, and uh, any interference with communication can alter a signal and create a malfunction in various systems. Electronic problems can come in many forms, from solder that can sprout microscopic whiskers shorting components to software bugs and electromagnetic fields generated from other electronic parts. If EMI is involved, it's a, a real problem. And um, almost every ma manufacturer, I believe, right now is evaluating their own vehicles, trying to figure out whether they have this kind of a problem. Electronic glitches are notoriously difficult to find. Imagine trying to isolate a short in this mass of wires, which came from just one vehicle. It could be like trying to find the proverbial needle in a haystack. Investigators are looking at the issue. At least two lab tests have found electrical irregularities cause problems in a Lexus ES350 and a Ford Fusion Hybrid. While the tests don't prove that the interference caused systems to malfunction, experts say they are evidence that it may be the culprit. Uh, with a, a change from a zero to a one, uh, as the result of a glitch that could be translated into a totally different code and as the result the car will behave totally different. Of more than 2,000 complaints of unwanted acceleration filed with federal regulators, more than half came from drivers of Toyotas that were not covered by the two acceleration recalls. That brings into question the scope of the tests that have been done by NHTSA to identify the problem. In the case of Toyota unintended acceleration, uh, the agency really only focused its resources on mechanical interface problems with these vehicles, and I think that's part of the reason why we got here today. And with electronics so prevalent in today's cars, there's a growing chorus in Washington questioning whether NHTSA has the expertise to investigate electronics issues. Well, I think that this is one of the problems that the Department of Transportation has not kept pace with the technology changes that have occurred in vehicles. The accelerator standard right now was issued in 1973, before there was any such thing as electronic throttles, and so it's completely outdated. It's, it's com almost irrelevant. Lawmakers say they will continue to push for answers whether modern vehicles are safe, as well as whether NHTSA is capable to verify that. But consumers will be seeking much, much more. They want solid assurances that all cars are safe to drive. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.